Excellency Arasan Watala, President of the Republic of Cote d'Ivoire, and the First Lady Dominique Watala, Vice President, President of the Senate, President of the National Assembly, the Prime Minister, Madame, the Grand Chancellery, leaders of high institutions present, members of the diplomatic corps, distinguished leaders, traditional leaders, your majesties, the chiefs, bonsoir. So, President, uh, as we were on the way coming to this uh, wonderful place and for the dinner, I was uh, uh, talking to my wife, the First Lady, and saying, wondering whether she could lend me her French uh, skills because she's very fluent. Uh, she's more francophone than myself. So I, I uh, but I said I'll try in English. And uh, uh, but the next time, my next visit, I'll be able to speak in French. I wish to thank you, President, and the people of Côte d'Ivoire for the great honor you have bestowed on us tonight. I thank you as a, a friend, as a brother, and thank Madame Dominique Watara First Lady, both of you for being uh, such a good friends and uh, leaders in your own right, in your own country. We dedicate this distinction to the people of Rwanda with whom we share the journey to build a united and prosperous country. I also want to sincerely appreciate your kind invitation to visit Côte d'Ivoire and a warm welcome we have received on our arrival in Abidjan. Rwanda and Côte d'Ivoire may be at the opposite ends of our continent, but we share more than our African heritage. Like Rwanda, Côte d'Ivoire has lived through extremely difficult circumstances, but we also have in common the drive to break with the past and create a brighter future for our people. Allow me to take this opportunity, Mr. President, to congratulate you and the people of Côte d'Ivoire for overcoming many obstacles and the ongoing work to restore Côte d'Ivoire as an economic powerhouse in this region. We want to build on the friendship and solidarity between Rwanda and Côte d'Ivoire for the benefit of our two peoples. 
following the agreements signed earlier today, we look forward to an open and even more productive partnership. The regular Rwandair flights from Kigali to Abidjan are a good starting point. Rwandans and Ivorians should visit each other more and do more business with each other. We would be there to always encourage that to happen and keep growing. Mr. President, I must also express our great appreciation for your support of the new Secretary General of the Francophony, Louise Mushikiwabo. And by the way, her name means she's a sister of all of us. This is what the meaning of the name is. Uh, so you supported our sister to be the Secretary General of Francophony, working together with the other like minds, and uh, we appreciate uh, your invaluable support. The success of her candidacy is proof that nothing is impossible when Africa comes together. Rwanda and Cote d'Ivoire will continue to work together for a stronger and more united continent, particularly through the ongoing reform of the African Union. Finally, let me extend our best wishes for the season and a very happy new year to you, Mr. President, Madame Dominique Watara, and the leadership of your country, and the entire population of your great country, Cote d'Ivoire. May I now offer a toast to the partnership between Cote d'Ivoire and Rwanda, and to the health and prosperity of both our nations. We are here, the First Lady of Rwanda, Jeanette Kagame, and the delegation from Rwanda. We are greatly honored and happy to be here with you and wish you the best.